like yeah, the propane. Yeah, that's an attraction piece. I usually have a table on it. Nice. But you know, people have to walk through. I get crowds of people. Yeah. So I just sat in there. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. How do you, how do you make like, stuff pop in 3D? Well, this one right here is, is all in the color harmonies, if you will. I have to decide. Like this is called Google Earth, and I knew that I wanted, the, you know, a color to pop. Right. And so through trial and error. Doing smaller pieces, I was able to figure out that orange would pop more yeah. for this particular piece. Whereas with this piece, I wanted something to pop here, and I was able to use the blue, and you can actually look like you can like, really like go into it. So it's like a lot of trial and error, a lot of hours involved, and a few mistakes. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes the mistakes are the success stories. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen this before. This is so unique. Right, 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 cool. Yeah, I don't work as an artist. I don't like working in traditional canvases. Mm -hmm. There's only two canvases I've done maybe in two years. I just don't do traditional canvases. This is a tabletop. It's called Abstract Egg. I really like this scrap. Well, yeah, I really like this one. This one really bored <laughs> me. I didn't think it would come out like this, but it came out really good, didn't it? So, and then this, this pager. Remember the pagers? Do you remember? <laughs> I do very, very vaguely. Yeah. Hi, my name is Richard Meyer from Daryl Beach, Florida. I'm here at Sunfest, and this is definitely the coolest thing I've seen all day. The work was striking, you know, this image right here, copy, I guess. Hi, we're back again looking at this beautiful display of work at the Whitney, and I'm here with one of the artists that was selected for this really amazing exhibit. <laughs> this here, these here. This is one of the jean jackets that I wore.